The first challenge and most obvious was to provide some protection from the temperature, to protect the liner of the pipe from temperature. And this we achieved incorporating uh, insulation, insulation layer into a ring system that uh, protects the internal lining of the ring from the heat, from the world temperature. Okay? This was the first challenge. But this was not enough, although the most obvious uh, challenge, it was not enough because we also needed to make sure that after we weld, we had the, met, the, the part metal of the pipe completely sealed from the liquid that was being transported by the pipeline. Uh, and then we have to develop uh, sealing systems to achieve that task, to complete that, to, to, to overcome that challenge. We came out with a ring to be inserted into each one of the pipes to be welded. The ring has an integrated insulation layer that is asbestos free and that is completely secluded from the flow of, of completely isolated from the flow of the, of the fluid that comes in the pipe. We have a sealing system in the face of the ring where it matches another similar ring to the next pipe to be welded. And this seal, this, this, these two gaskets compress it against each other, they seal, effectively seal uh, the leak, the possibility of leaking fluid uh, to the weld zone. We also have another seal, which is a bore seal, which seals the ring against the liner of the pipe to be that is well. So we have uh, the ring is completely sealed both in the back and in the front, uh, preventing the fluid to get in touch with the, with the parent metal of the pipe. Uh, we also came out with a sleeve which is based on the same principle. In other words, we have an insulation layer uh, that prevents the heat of the weld to affect the liner. And we have bore seals in both ends of the sleeve. Both the sleeve and the rings are lined with material which is the same or compatible with the material that lines the pipe. Uh, I mentioned uh, the challenges of uh, design uh, and one of the biggest challenges was to design something that was practical to be used in the field. We could not come out with a contraption that you take forever to install that you cost enormously. So we have to come out with an economic and practical way of achieving our engineering goals. Uh, as you can see here, we have a system for a small pipe. This is for a six inch pipe. We have systems, both ring and sleeve for big bore pipe. This is an 18 inch uh, uh, set for 18 inch pipe. Uh, 18 inch is not our limit. We can go uh, much larger pipe. Uh, six inches is, not, is also not our lower limit. We have some, some system designed for four inch uh, pipe. Again, uh, we designed something to be used in the field, the normal way the pipelines are built. In other words, every single operation, every single pipeline construction operation performed in a pipeline that uses our, our system is performed the same way as if it were a bare pipeline. Okay, we are now going to demonstrate the insertion of an LPS sleeve into an 18 inch pipe.
As the pipe is lined up, welding may proceed using uh, the conventional uh, welding process that's used everywhere in pipeline construction. In this case, we are using stick rod, cellulosic stick rod. Also, we could use uh, other uh, welding process. Uh, the system is not depending, dependent on, on, on the welding process used. You may weld, please. Uh, 